What's going on everyone? Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little gameplay of the Uzi here. And I have finally done it. Oh my. All SMGs are now gold. Um, this one. Uh, yeah. When I was first like getting a gold, it was a bit tough, not gonna lie. Just cause if you take off all attachments, it's pretty, it felt really inconsistent. And the recoil was a bit like all over the place. So, uh, it definitely, uh, definitely took a lot to get this gold. Um, for the spray paint, you already know it's the kills. Basically, anything you do will contribute to the gun. The headshot, same thing. If you just you can work uh, with that throughout the uh, all these mat or all these camos just while getting headshots. Crouch kills is the digital. That one's uh, pretty easy. Um, when it came to, so this is where we'll get into the uh before we get into the rest of these camos we'll just go through uh the attachments that i ran so uh like always i ran muzzle break on most of these smgs uh if it's not the monolithic suppressor or yeah if it's not the monolithic suppressor uh not thinking about it or the muzzle break i don't run anything on the barrel but this one um didn't really need Although damage range would have been nice, but I felt like this really needed muzzle break just because, like I said earlier, the uh, recoil was just insane on this gun. <laughs> like, uh, when it comes to all these SMGs, just because our and then this definitely helped a lot with the recoil stabilization and bumped up the accuracy quite a little bit. And uh, all right, next on the barrel, I ran the 16.5 factory carbine. Just cause it gives, it benefits you the most, even though it hurts your mobility and like the movement speed, but as you can tell, it's a little bit of a trade-off for the mobility when you compare it to how much of an upgrade it does to your range, uh, the accuracy and the control, even the bullet velocity helps on that too. So, uh, it's, this is honestly, I felt like was needed, uh, for this SMG just cause especially when it comes to the long shots on the splinter um, I couldn't uh, I can't think of any any other way to do it other than just switching or just unless you are the barrels just needed like what else do I really need to say uh under barrel I went with the more or Merc foregrip just to help with the hip fire accuracy even uh, out of the other two I think yeah, this are the ranger and the operator, or even anything else helps with your uh, control of the gun. But I felt like accuracy is also a key on this, so I went with the Merc Four Grip just because of how big of a buff it does to the accuracy on the gun. Uh, I went with sleight of hand, but 
just because uh actually that was just for the stripes uh camo or with the kill reload i am actually gonna switch something out take that off and throw on the uh rubberized grip tape just to help even more with the recoil control um actually yeah go with rubberized or even stippled if you want to have the sprint to fire speed up buff on that too that also can be beneficial especially with this gun i don't really s expect people sitting back like it, or as if it was an ar and just watching down lanes i this is a gun that you're most likely gonna be more aggressive and run around with um yeah so ignore that perk part uh i just had that from earlier um what i went with the stock was the forge tack ultralight just because uh it helped me with strafing or just the aim walking let me speed basically strafing around uh you could go um no stock for the mobility but i just i didn't want to hurt the uh range and the accuracy that's already that i put on just to have uh the boost with the from the barrel and the grip and the muzzle uh you already know how it goes with the hipfire kills for the dragon. I went ahead and took off the rear grip and threw on the 5MW laser just to help, uh, was it, help with my crosshairs on the screen. Uh, be more accurate from shooting from the hip. And then uh, when it also came to uh, the long shot, I went ahead and did this. I jumped into ground war. Took off the laser and threw on the uh, VLK three times off thick, just because uh, <laughs> this helped. Or I needed something with a bit of like a range buff, or like that can help me down. Yeah, with farther range uh, for these long shots. Because oh my goodness, this is probably the this is probably the only SMG I have out of all six. Yeah, six of them. This is probably the only one I struggled with on uh, the long shots. The other ones wasn't as bad. The only other one I could see being hard was probably the Bison, but even then, I still got it done pretty quick. It's just, this thing's not meant for range whatsoever. So, yeah, the, I did that with the scope. And then once I was done, I just took it off and threw on my rubberized. Uh, the skulls kill three enemies without dying. Let's see. No attachments. This also, this kill your or get kills while your gun is using no attachment slots. This is a bit of a struggle too, just because, like I said at the beginning of this, it's very inconsistent, and it is a bit of a struggle to uh, get all these uh, kills done. Just because, like, there are some moments I wish I had clips of it, but I <laughs> or uh, say. It'd be like right next to me and like my hitbox wasn't registering with how i don't know if it's because of the hitbox thing or hoax that's not hoax but the uh hitbox thing that's been going around um uh, if you want more details about that i'd probably just look around on twitter or look it up about it because people have been talking about how the hitbox gets smaller if you get, or the better your kd is but uh i just felt this gun was really inconsistent too uh but yeah we'll get on to the rest of the class uh just the same thing on the side run the this is what i'm running on my deagle i'll get a future video up when i have this full thing fully done on uh what i ran with it perks uh i run eod or uh scavenger uh i it, i switch it up 10 or i tend to switch it up based on what i'm uh, what game mode I'm using and what uh, what field upgrade I'm using as well. Uh, second one I went with Hardline or Ghost. Uh, if the people, if I kept, if I took notice in the game of how many people were using UAVs, I just tend to switch it over. But most of the time, I usually go with Hardline just to get that extra uh, that l one less kill streak cost. Uh, for perk 3, I went with uh, Shrapnel to get the extra frag grenade that I run. Or I tend to run Battle Hardened too if I keep on getting stunned in the game. 
it doesn't i still haven't noticed that big of a difference between like the reduction of uh, the flash stun or epmp grenades when using battle hardened but i just still uh what is it i still use it just for the extra padding on that then like i said lethal is my frag grenades and then tactical is my stun grenades and then for field upgrades um i ran dead silence or um if i was feeling it like in ground war and stuff i tend to ran uh the munitions box just to get the more ammo out of uh what i or out of the game but yeah that is pretty much it for this um Uzi class and um with this being my final uh gun to get gold i have also got platinum so we're gonna dive into a uh custom game here real quick and show you what the all the guns look like in platinum we'll see you in a bit okay so um previously oh wow i uh I have not seen these guns platinum except for the only the mp5 but that's just because once i first got it i just was playing a couple games with the mp5 this is probably my favorite smg uh to play with but oh my goodness this looks really clean uh so we got the aug here uh with the attachments i was using for my gold class it i honestly first impressions on it i personally like the platinum i some people say it's bland and stuff but i like how just clean and shiny it looks personally uh this actually looks really nice on this gun jeez uh yeah so oh wow even like grip like where the trigger where i have the trigger that's clean oh um uh, Oh, the, the little reflection thing in the, with the sun. That I like that. That's a nice touch right there. You can see with the little uh, glare. But yeah, here it is for the uh, MP or not the MP, the AUG. Excuse me. But the AUG is a pretty nice touch. We're gonna take a look at here in a sec on the uh, P90. Okay, so here's the P90. As you can see. It is a really clean look. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really like the platinum on this. Uh, calm, easy to impress, but I think this is one of the few things good done in this game. Uh, I wonder if I don't know the suppressor is not gold or platinum, but uh, this whole thing, even like the top little frame right above the mag. That looks pretty clean, platinum too. Uh, I wish, although I can understand why the iron sights are, that would have been kind of cool to see iron sights, platinum. But yeah, just the way this reloads, you can't really, oh wait, you can kind of tell how platinum it is. But even then, it's still not bad. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to the, uh, I think the MP5 after. Be right back. All right, I've already seen this before, but uh, here is the MP5 Platinum. I personally, this is the one that I feel like is the best looking one out of the SMGs, although this is pretty biased. I haven't seen the other three yet. That could possibly change, but just the, if, just how like the barrel, like that little under barrel right, up, uh, right above the grip on my gun. I like how that's Platinum too. Uh, even the stock shows as platinum. Even though I don't have I have running the no stock on this. But it looks really clean on this. I think uh <laughs> Yeah. Just pretty clean. Alright, we're gonna move on to the Uzi now. Alright, so here we have the uh Uzi here. Um not a bad touch. Uh kind of hard to tell on this I think it's just because of the sunlight on this map but this isn't bad at all um, if we look here even the grip of my gun is uh, platinum the stock I don't think is really platinum I gotta get in the sun yeah it's not really platinum 
But, uh, overall, still pretty nice. I wish, although I wish kind of like how the MP5 was, I wish that, uh, that underbarrel was also platinum. That's just a personal preference, though. Still not a bad look. Alright, now we're going to move on to the Bison next, so we'll see that in a bit. Alright, so here we have the Bison. Uh, it's not a bad gun to, or for, for Platinum. Uh, yeah, probably not my favorite. Probably not a top 4, top 5. It's probably the last least favorite for me. I don't know. Uh, this... Oh wow, that glare is actually pretty sick though. I like, I just like the actual realistic look of that with the uh, how they show the glare off the gun. Uh, it's not a bad. I wonder if my stock. You see my stock munch when we're loading? No. Uh, how about if we go over to my old guns? Does it show my old guns? Where did I? I don't think we can just find it. Uh. Any of my old guns here? No. Alright, well, I don't think the uh, stock all the way is gold on this, but... Or not gold, platinum, excuse me. But overall, it's still not bad, but probably not. My le it's probably my least favorite. Alright, now we'll move on to the MP7 platinum. And see in a bit. Alright, so here we have the MP7 platinum. Oh, I do like this that little clip at the no stock. Uh, that's platinum too. The whole stock's platinum. Uh, the grip, kind of platinum. Oh, kind of hard to do that platinum. Uh, sorry, what does the underbarrel look like? It, uh, is that platinum? Kind of looks platinum. Uh, not a bad uh, showcase of it. Uh, Still, overall, not a bad gun. Uh, Platinum, probably one of my top three favorites, so. It's probably got to go with, uh, I'm making these in order, MP5, little biased still, but definitely my favorite. Then, I probably got to go with the, uh, the AUG as my uh, second, or, yeah, AUG second, and then this would probably be third. Uh, Uzi fourth. Uh, P90 is probably my fifth favorite, and then Bison's probably my least favorite of the Platinum look of all the SMGs. But overall, it's still not a bad, uh, still not a bad touch about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, anything to help me out here. Uh, also, drop down in the comments section two things. Uh, what you run on your Uzi, Uzi uh, it could help other people out, or probably give me more of like an insight on what to use on it because I felt like most of my SMGs are in the same kind of except uh, probably my MP or P90 I probably ran that more of an AR-ish type thing with the AUG same as the AUG just sl slower builds but uh yeah let me know what you run in your Uzi and also out of these uh looks on the or out of all the platinum guns for SMGs what do you think platinum looks best on and uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment section and hope you guys have a great morning, night, evening, day, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.